The Chidi Q1 Pro is here. We've had it for a few months. We've put a whole bunch of filament through this thing. Let's take a deeper dive into the Chidi Q1 Pro 3D printer. So Chidi's been manufacturing FDM printers for about 10 years. And this machine here is definitely a culmination of all of their past 10 years. Full disclosure, I was one of the fortunate few to receive this machine from Chidi, and I'm very thankful that they sent this to me. Previous to this one, I was using the Max machine from Chidi, which overall was a good working machine, but I really enjoy this machine much more mainly because of its size and also its functionality. So full disclosure, I did not pay for this machine. Chidi sent this machine to me to try and I got it before it was launched. I received the machine about a month before it was launched and had about a month to put some filament through this machine. I did end up putting an entire roll of Bamboo Labs PLA red carbon material through this machine and it has been an absolute joy. Now I'm not gonna go into all the functions and details of this machine, but as we go through this initial section here, I will pop up various screenshots from Chidi's material on the different functions of this printer. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy with my 3D printers is ease of use. I am not a 3D printer hobbyist, and my hobby does not revolve around 3D printing. In the shop here, we do primarily aircraft building and assembly for turbine model aircraft. So when I get a machine that shows up, I just want it to work. I want it to be easy to use, functional and problem free. And this one definitely gets a thumbs up in that category. Now I have had a couple other cheating machines and there's been some definitely speed bumps along the road. And if you've been following Chidi's uh, past couple years, you will be aware of those speed bumps. This machine though has been absolutely flawless. I've had zero is issues with it. And let's review all of the items that I printed with this machine. So the first thing I printed was the standard Benchy. Uh, the Benchy turned out well. I noticed that the first layer was just a little bit off and I was using the default settings for the rapid PLA in the Chidi slicer. So what I did from there is I printed some of the test pieces and this basically determines your extrusion rate, I believe. And I found that I believe the zero uh, adjustment extrusion rate was actually the best number to go with. So that's what we ended up going with. From there, we printed a second Benchy and there was a couple small differences but overall printed very well and the first layer went down a little bit nicer with the adjustments to the material. I did end up making a, a material for the Bamboo Labs carbon PLA and use that profile for the rest of the material, but all of the standard PLA defaults is what I was using and the only thing that I adjusted was the extrusion rate. So from there, we went in to print a, a couple small pieces that were preloaded on the machine. So one of them is this, I just call it a Lego piece. I don't really understand what it is, but anyways, we've got this little uh, Lego piece thing. And the other thing I printed was the spool, uh, oversized spool holder thing. Now, this is installed on the machine right now. I never used this spool setup purely because my setup, all my printers are very tight together and this just doesn't work. So what I ended up using was one of my dry boxes from one of my previous Chidi printers. I think this one was from my X-Max 3 and uh, I prefer this because it sits right beside my machine. If I wanna change the filament, I just pull it out. And if I'm using any high-tech filaments, I don't have to uh, worry about it being sitting out and having to dry the material between uses. I just have it sitting in here. There's some decussant in the bottom and that tube runs right up to the printer in the standard tube input location. So as I mentioned, I have this here purely for the video. I did not use the standard spool holder. So we printed a articulated little mini dragon. This turned out awesome. First try worked beautiful. Now I will say that all of these prints were first try prints. We did not have any failed prints or any bad adhesion issues 
with this printer. It worked very well. The Articulated Dragon came out nice. Everything is nice and smooth with it. Everything just works. It popped off the bed and overall very happy with how this turned out. From the Dragon, we got into something a little bit more tricky and that was the vase. Now this vase has a whole bunch of different uh, geometric shapes and variations to it and it is a nice solid print. This does use quite a bit of material. I pulled this off of uh, either printables or Thingiverse and it turned out beautiful. Uh, nice smooth finish to it. The, uh, the Bamboo Labs Carbon PLA does print very nice. So it is a very nice finish, partly because of the printer, but also because of the material that we used. So from the vase, we printed this little uh, Easter thing with rabbit ears, and this turned out very nice. The finish is beautiful. It's uh, again, a fairly complicated print just because of the all the ins and outs and the shapes and everything. That's why I picked this. Uh, it's it's pretty much a useless little piece, but uh, it turned out absolutely beautiful. The finish on the ears here is nice and very happy with this. From there, we started to get into some of our production stuff that we print. Now, these trays here that I printed, these are items that I use in the shop here. So during our builds, we need somewhere to put all of our bolts and little parts and stuff. So this is a, a common thing that I print on most 3D printers that I receive and uh, these things are handy. I can never have enough of these things. So I printed both of these guys and they turned out awesome. They, uh, they, do, they do use about 100 grams of filament, so about 10% of a roll and uh, turned out beautiful both times. No issues with those at all and beautiful finish. And the last thing we printed was another production item. Now I've only got two sitting here on the table, but we printed a whole bunch of these, I think 15 or 20 of these, uh, these little holders. These are an electronic holder that we put a, uh, a screen inside and uh, this is a flush mount unit that gets mounted on top of a board. So all you see is this surface right here. And they printed perfect every time. I think with the bed dimensions of 250 by 250, we were able to print two of these at a time and they came out perfect. So the machine itself comes with all the standard uh, stuff. Um, some of the things that I noticed initially on this machine was a couple fine important changes. Now it's got a wiper in the back of the machine. It's got a little mini poop bucket, if we're gonna use that terminology from the Bamboo Lab side. And the wiper seems like it's a little bit gimmicky, but it worked every single time, no issues. The bag of parts did come with a couple spare wipers. They're a piece of felt and uh, double-sided adhesive and never had any issues with the nozzle getting gummed up, dirty. Every time the machine started, it uh, did the little wipe thing on the, the little abrasive pad or felt pad and it worked great. Now, if you're a newbie, sort of like me, I, I haven't been printing with 3D printers for very long. This machine was incredibly easy to use. The auto bed leveling system worked amazing. Now, I'm not entirely sure on all of the specifics around the bed leveling uh, system, but I do know from the literature that we've been provided that it does have dual sensors. So I believe there's a sensor in the print head and also on the plate itself. Uh, it works great. No issues, seem to work perfect every single time that we printed any of these items. Now the firmware on it is Clipper and works very well. All these prints that we did, they were sent over Wi-Fi on our local network and everything worked very well. It does have a camera now as well, which is also a step towards the other printers we have here in the shop. We've also been provided previously with a Bamboo Labs printer, Creality printer, and I tell you, this one is definitely getting very close to where those other brands of printers are. A lot of the features in here are encroaching upon those other companies' printers. When we do use some more high-tech filament in the shop here, like nylon, carbon fiber nylon, it's nice to have the heated chamber as well, which the Chidi Q1 Pro does provide. So it opens up some options to print various more high-tech filaments. We haven't run any of those filaments through the machine yet, but I don't suspect it's gonna have any issues because of the heated chamber and all of the other specifications with the printer. So with that, this printer can essentially print almost all of the filaments available to date. 
and it's supposed to be able to do it very well and I suspect with what I've seen so far that it will be able to do that. One of the other things that I noticed on the machine was dual axis Z motors, which is great, nice to see. One of those improvements over some of the previous generations of printers. So my overall thoughts on this printer definitely gets two thumbs up. I like it because it's easy to use. It's got all of the technical functions that we're looking for and also priced really aggressively. Now I will put some links down below in the video description. Those are affiliate links. They go to my affiliate program and I do get a small kickback if you do purchase a printer or filaments through those affiliate links. There is a special price. I'm not gonna mention it on the video because I don't know how long that special price is gonna be in play, but it is priced very aggressively for the functions and features that this printer has. Final analysis, this printer is definitely staying in our group of three that we have. I like it, it works great, it's a good fit for the shop, and I'm thankful for Chidi for sending this printer. Um, I've enjoyed using it so far, and I suspect we'll put it to use a lot in the future. So thank you, Chidi, for providing this printer for us to test. Thank you guys for watching this review, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to list them down below in the video comments. You can also reach out to me at thelightersideofrc at gmail.com. As I've mentioned, I am not a 3D printer expert. I like using these things, and I like them to just work. So this one is great for that. Thanks guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.